It's a beautiful morning. Look at that skyline right now. That, my friends, is what New York City looks like at 6.30 a.m. That's some beautiful stuff right there. Uh, I'm heading into Brooklyn right now. Uh, this is not gonna stay. So I'm heading into Brooklyn right now. My grandparents, they they grew up and they lived in Brooklyn their entire lives, but they have been, they're retired and they go down to Florida like a lot of old people do. They go there for most of the winter months, you know, back here in the East Coast. Because it gets freezing, they don't want to deal with that shit when they're older. So they have a house in Florida, but they're here for, they come here during the summer months. But they are going back like this week, so since they are renting the apartment, I brought my mom's truck, I gotta pack up their stuff. Holy shit balls. I gotta pack up their stuff in my mom's truck before they leave, because obviously they can't leave it there. Anyways, I got up at 5.30 a.m. today, and I mentioned last video that I wanted to do a 30-day challenge. For the next 30 days, this is the first day of the 30th. This is Sunday morning, it's October 21st, I believe. I'm gonna get up at 5.30 a.m. every single <clears throat> every single day for the next 30 days. Weekends, holidays, going to Austin, Texas next weekend for Halloween. I might not even be waking up at that time. I might have just not <laughs> slept. And I'll be I'll be awake at 5.30, we'll put it that way. Well, I'm doing this for two reasons. Well, actually three. One of them is, is for you guys. The first is, it's funny because I'm such a morning person now. When I was younger, like ages like 16 to throughout college, you know, I hated getting up in the morning as any normal like college kid hates to do. I like going out, you know, bars, party, whatever the deal was. And uh, getting up early was just not in the equation for me. As I've gotten older, right, and I've tried to be more productive, I find that the morning is just such a perfect time to kind of like reflect and get your work done. And for me, I'm most creative first thing in the morning. I can get most of my work done and just be the most productive as soon as I wake up, you know, get a coffee going and be set for the next four or five hours to just dig my head into my work. And uh, what this is gonna do is, you know, I realize like a lot of people are not morning people and it's probably because of the lifestyle that you have. And a lot of you guys probably are morning people because you work full time. If you're younger, if you're in high school or college, you'll realize as soon as you start working full time and you have this full responsibility that you have to be in work on time at like 8 a.m. or earlier, you will be in bed early and you will start to cherish sleep. Not that you don't now, but you will really take it to another level. Anyways, I'm sure you've heard it before how these really successful entrepreneurs get up at like 5 a.m. every day, like Tony Robbins and, and all those kind of people. And I'm not preaching like you have to do that, like that that's bullshit. To each his own, it's very subject <coughs> subjective, but what I've found in my experience is that the morning is just the best time to work for me. If you shift, like think about it this way, it just it, it just makes sense from a common sense standpoint. Say you're awake, right? Say the normal person sleeps for eight hours. If you're awake for the other 14, or the, <laughs> the other 16 hours, and that means you're waking up, say you wake up at, at 9 a.m., right? That would mean you'll be up till one, which gets you eight hours of sleep. If you shifted that and you started waking up at five and going to sleep at around 9 p.m., think about what you could be doing in that 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. as opposed to 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., right? For me, and I bet this is probably true for a lot of you guys, the chances of you being productive from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. are about three billion times more likely than you being productive from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., right? At that point in the night, for me at least, the only thing I wanna do is like lay down, be lazy, be on the computer, just like surfing the web, watching TV. Cause that's when, you know, that's how America works, right? All the good shit on TV is on there from like eight to midnight and that's what you wanna watch. What are you doing, bro? So we're programmed in a way that like at night, you get off of work, like you don't wanna do anything. And it's not like your fault, it's not anyone's fault, that's just the way that a lot of things work today. And if you kinda shift the hours that you're awake for, it'll be like night and day. So I'm doing this one to challenge myself because that's being impossible, to not impossible to do, but that's really hard to do, right? Wake up at 5, 5.30 a.m. every single day and keep a strict tangible deadline. I'm sure it'll be, it won't be that bad for the first like three, four, five days, but there will be days throughout these 30 days where I'm like, uh, all I want to do is sleep in. I need to get more rest, right? Oh, just give me one day of sleeping in and I'll be ready to go. Those are the barriers and those are the boundaries that you need to push. And that's when like the breakthroughs will come. 
because I believe if I can if I can get up at 5:30 a.m. every single day for 30 days, I'll be the most productive I've ever been. I'll be able to get all my work done so early in the day and be able to, you know, enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy just enjoy my life more. And that's really why I started out on this whole thing, right? The whole vlogging, YouTube, uh, branching off and doing my own marketing thing is so that because I enjoy my flexibility and my freedom, being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it throughout the day. So I'm doing this as a challenge to myself and I'm doing this from a productivity standpoint. When I say I'm doing this for you guys, it's because every single person watching this right now should have something on their mind that they want to do for 30 days. It doesn't have to be wake up at 5 a.m. It doesn't have to be go to the gym every single day for 30 days. It could be something as simple as reading 50 pages from a book a day. Listen to an informational podcast every day for 30 days. Go for a 30 minute walk every day for 30 days. It could be something super simple, right? Cut out soda for 30 days. It doesn't need to be extreme, it doesn't need to be crazy. But if you wanna take a step towards your goals, the only way to do that is to take baby steps and to prove to yourself that you could do something, right? Because if you set your goals all the way up here and you're starting from down here, you're gonna get discouraged very easily if you try to accomplish everything in a 30 day period. But if you set yourself out on a 30 day period and you say, hey, I'm gonna go from here to here, and the next time from here to here, and the next time from here to here, before you know it, you'll be there. So what I want everyone to do that's watching this, I want you to choose something that you wanna do for the next 30 days. And like I said, it doesn't have to be extreme, but something that's like personal to you. It could be, like I said, walk for 30 minutes a day. I want you to challenge yourself to do that every single day for the next 30 days. I want it to be something tangible so that you can be accountable and you know whether or not you hit it, right? I don't want something in between, like I don't want you to say, I'm gonna wake up early for the next 30 days. I'm gonna eat right for the next 30 days. Nothing like that bullshit because you're not gonna be able to, you'll find a way in your mind to kind of talk yourself out of it or make an adjustment so that you, you're like telling yourself that you did it and you're fine. I'm gonna give you a pause real quick. I'm gonna let the video roll, but I'm gonna give you like a 10 second pause. Think about something you wanna do for the next 30 days. That at the end of the 30 days, you're gonna be happy with, and you're gonna be like, I'm glad I did this, right? It made me more productive, it made me a better person. I'm just, I, I feel better about myself and I feel better about you know where I'm headed and the goals and the direction that I wanna be going into. If you're a writer, if you're a creative type, maybe it's document something, like film something, for 20 minutes every day, or write, get up and, and write 500 words every day. I guarantee that will take you 30 minutes tops. It doesn't have to be a specific subject, but if whatever you're interested in, whatever a side goal of yours, like a side hustle that you have, do something related to that. You'll find it's like the most fulfilling thing in the world, and I want everyone to like understand how that feels, and once you get rolling on that, man, that's like, there's nothing better than that. So again, think of something, I've just been rambling on it for a while, but think of something that you wanna do for the next 30 days. Okay, that should have been enough time for you to think of something. I hope you have that thought in your mind. If you're okay sharing what you wanna do, you want me to hold you accountable, Comment down below on the video what your 30 day, if you're comfortable sharing, what the 30 day challenge you're gonna do is, and I will check back in with you. If you did it, I will hold you accountable. I'll check back in with you every single week to make sure that you are sticking to the to the goal that you set. I just wanted to kind of get that out there because I'm gonna be doing it. I'll, I'll make sure I tape every single morning when I wake up at 5.30, and I want you guys to hold yourselves accountable as well. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the days that you don't wanna do it. If you set your goal to walk for 30 minutes a day, the biggest breakthroughs are gonna come on those days where you get home from work late, 7.30, 8, 8.30, 9, and you're like, fuck this, I don't wanna do this, that's when you have to do it. That's when you push yourself mentally because then the next time that you wanna accomplish something and you're too tired or it's too late or you don't have enough energy, you're gonna think back on that first time and be like, fuck this, it's all a mental game, like I can do this, you know what I mean? So that's something like you gotta find within yourself that will push you. It's like the beginning of uh, Till I Collapse from Eminem. You know, when he's talking in the beginning, like the intro to that song, he's like, when you're too tired, that's when you gotta push yourself. 
As corny as this might come off to a lot of you guys, it's a cliche for a reason. Like there's a reason that people say this stuff. There's a reason that I wanna wake up early. There's a reason that you set goals and you gotta push yourself when you're mentally down because that's how you grow as a person. So I encourage each and every one of you that watches this to set a 30 day challenge for yourself. If you're comfortable sharing it, please write it down below and I will try my best to hold you guys accountable week by week as we do this together. So that was my two thoughts on that. Deciding what I wanna do for the rest of the day. I came out here super early because it's Sunday and I like to live stream by like 11 a.m. And then I knew if we came at like nine, I, I wouldn't make it back for the games, for the NFL games. Probably gonna go back home and do brunch with my friends back in my town. But uh, it should be a good day either way. I didn't go out at all this weekend, so I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling productive. I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling raw, I'm in the prime of my life. I need to bump some MGMT. I need to put MGMT on all my fucking playlists. That's what I need to do. Oh wow, look at this. That's beautiful. Kinda reminds me of California. All right, I'm done rambling. Holy shit, I'm not done actually. This is beautiful. Day two, waking up at 5.30, want to watch, work with me. It's 5.53 right now, me and my big ass cup of coffee. I'm about to get to work. I just got the new Fitbit, Ionic. I'm uh, doing a whole separate video about it, like a review, so stay tuned. So I was just on my way back from the gym and I was listening to a podcast from Gary Vaynerchuk. You guys have followed me, you know how much I love him. And I, I thought of something kind of, uh, it's actually kind of, terrifying but I caught a thought of something funny Gary V always talks about how you know he's documenting his life and how in like 80 100 years from now his great grandkids are gonna be watching him on on the internet or whatever it is at the time right virtual reality whatever and it got me thinking like that's gonna be the same for me because I've already put out enough content that like if someone wants to find me they could easily find me on the internet and I was just thinking he's never brought this up this just popped into my head imagine your grandparents grandma or grandpa or something did this right they vlogged their life and during it you know like back in the 70s or something doing all these different drugs were like considered normal right like maybe they would have put it on film and it would have been like fine because it was not against the law or it was not like whatever it was you know what i mean like something ridiculous that we think is crazy now but back then it was like totally normal and i'm wondering like is there going to be something weird that i've done on my channel wouldn't be considered weird now I don't really do that much like outlandish shit, but is there something I do on my videos that in like 50 or 80 years, like my grandkids are gonna be like, wow, our grandpa was like a sick, twisted human being. Like he was, I mean, I'm not racist obviously, but like, I, I don't know. The way this society is going, like literally I feel like anything could be called racist nowadays. Like, like wow, our, our grandpa was sick. Like, did you see him drink alcohol? Like in, in like 50 years, they'll have a study that like alcohol kills all your brain cells and that's how like 90% of people actually die. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, that's a weird thought just came into my head and I just put it on camera. I wonder what I've done on video that a long time from now, they might be, I don't know, like imagine like your grandpa vlogged and like in one of his vlogs, he was just like ripping lines of cocaine. At the time it was normal, but now you'd be like, holy shit, my grandpa was a, a savage, for better or worse. So now I always thought it was really cool to leave this behind and like people are gonna be able to see it a long time from now, but I'm also kind of like, shit, kind of makes me scared a little bit. I don't know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So we're in day three. Tell you what, the waking up part's really not that difficult for me. And I've noticed like already this morning, it's, it's 11.30 right now, so I've been up for six hours if I'm doing my math correctly, which is usually not the case. I've written up both my blog posts that I get out today. I did an email blast with them in it. I edited up two videos and I published one today. It's only 11.30, but I still have the full day ahead of me. I'm gonna go to the gym in like a half hour. And in these three days that I've been waking up super early, I've been to the, well, as long as I still go today, I'll have gone to the gym three days in a row, just getting a lot of work done. But the hard part is when it hits like three or four o'clock and I'm tired. Now I don't want to nap because if I start napping, it's going to screw up my sleep schedule. Do I nap, drink another coffee or something? But I also don't want to have caffeine like that late in the day if I'm trying to go to sleep early. I haven't been, I got the new Fitbit. And I just released the uh, review video for it. And then these last three days that I've been waking up early, I've only got four out, like four and a half to five hours of sleep each night. So. 
I'm getting to sleep a little too late, right? I can't fall asleep till like 12, and that's just like my clock right now because I've been doing that for a while. It's windy as a mother out in here. It's like a hurricane coming. Eventually my body will get back into the swing of things and like if I keep waking up at 5.30, eventually I'll start falling asleep earlier and earlier and I'll get used to it and I'll be good to go. I'm trying to just push through the day without, who texting me? Who yelling at me? It's not a good text to get early in the morning. Uh, yeah, so, so I just gotta power through. I'm alright though. I feel like in a week this might like kill me though. I might die. But I definitely noticed the productivity shooting up so far. There's just so many more hours in the day. Like, it's 11.30. It's basically I can get like two work days in one day. So I get all my stuff done. Cleaned a pair of shoes today. I dropped off a package at the post office. I'm all over the place today. I'm starting to get bags under my eyes though. We can sleep when we're dead. We don't sleep here at the HQ. Oh, also, yo, I'm getting, actually, this will probably be in the next video. I'm going today. I'm going to a tattoo shop by me. There's a tattoo I really want to get. I've been wanting to get another tattoo for a while. I have three. I don't, I don't think I've talked about these on my vlog yet. I have one on my forearm. I got one on my leg. And I got one on my back. None of them have me. I mean, they have meaning, but I'd rather not get into why or when or how I got them. This next one, I have a good one that I want to get right on my arm here. I haven't really decided if I want it on the front of my wrist or like the forearm here, but I'm going to figure it out. I think I'm going to go in today for like a consultation. There's a tattoo shop that got really good reviews. I know a couple of people that have gone there and I'm just going to kind of sit down and see, you know, pricing and when I can get in there for an actual appointment. And I'd like to get it done. Honestly, I want to go into the consultation today and then maybe even go in tomorrow and get the tattoo. And once I get it, I'll show you guys what it is, obviously, and I'll tell you kind of the backstory, the meaning behind it. But I'm also kind of nervous to get it now because if, if I do that plan, I'll be getting it Wednesday. I leave for Austin, Texas on Friday. And I know like caring for tattoos, especially like the first, you know, you have to let your skin heal after you get a tattoo because you're literally just getting needles spoked into you. So you need like the skin to heal for, usually it's like one to two weeks before it starts like really kind of getting together and being like finished healing, more than that maybe. But I'm kind of nervous if I get the tattoo and then two days later I'm in Austin, like this weekend, it's just gonna be like a little crazy to say the least. So I like, I have to make sure I take care of it while I'm there. So I'm a little hesitant to get it before I go, but. I'll keep you all posted. That's the tattoo shop. Down porn right now, and I don't want to get out of my car to run over there. Oi, oi. Wednesday morning, 9.24 a.m. These bags are getting serious. Cooking up a little bit of breakfast. Gonna make some egg beaters, egg subs. Throw a little cheese on top, a little zip it up along. Finishing up the notes for the video that I dropped today. Every Wednesday for my weekly fantasy. Outlook. I got my reporting done this morning for my clients. Yo, by the way, if you're into music, if you're into like hip hop and rap music, like I consider myself to be, I don't really mess with any of the new rappers like Lil Yucky and Ray Schmegma and all those guys. And that whole wave of new weird like rappers that I got like pink hair and all mental problems and shit. But this dude, Belly, you probably heard of him by now. Probably getting after it for like two years now. Kind of in like the mainstream. But if you haven't listened to Belly and you like dudes like I like, Action Bronson, Pusha T, Kanye, take a listen to Belly. His new album is called Mumble Rap. This album, his last album were both awesome. I'm eating some breakfast. Oh, on the tattoo front too. So I went into the store, I talked to the guy yesterday. The design I want, I didn't have the exact design down. So he gave me his business card and he was like, go home, research uh, what you, cause there's like a piece of the design that I need to figure out like how I want it done. So he's like, go research it, send me a few pics on Instagram and we'll work with that and then we'll schedule an appointment. But he also agrees that it's probably not a good idea for me to get the tattoo, especially on my arm for Austin. Cause you know, you have to like baby it in the first week or two. And he's like sitting on a plane for like four hours is, you know, with your arm down on the thing, it's just not gonna be a, a good time. So, so we're gonna get the ink done next week. He said it's gonna take probably two hours, like a two hour session to get it done, and it'll cost between like 200 and 225. Basically means I'm almost definitely gonna return the Fitbit, which I bought for 300 bucks. So I'll get that back and put it towards a tattoo. That sounds really bad when I think about it, like I'm trading in a fitness watch for tat to pay for a tattoo. Such is life. So it's Thursday afternoon, around noon, finishing up some work. Got the plane tickets printed out for Austin. We leave tomorrow for the airport, probably around like 5.30 a.m. We got both costumes ready. I got a, a cow t-shirt. Gonna throw it under a button down. Throw my cow hat on. And we are business casual. That's one of the two costumes I got. And I already showed you guys my, uh, this bad boy, so I'm just gonna be a giant jack-o'-lantern. So I got my costumes ready to go. By the time you watch it Saturday or Sunday, I'll probably already have worn both of those. But I'm just finishing up some work. I got the podcast tonight at 7.30. I think my friend that's coming with me to Austin is gonna take his train 
from the city crashing my house. My mom's gonna drive us to the airport tomorrow morning, very early. Peep the poop emoji coffee mug. I'm gonna wrap up what I'm doing, hit the gym, and that's gonna be this episode. So if you enjoyed, as always, give the video the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm not gonna be able to live stream on Sunday morning, unfortunately, because I will be on the flight. Maybe I can get some Wi-Fi. I'm not really sure. That's gonna be it. So I will see y'all, and I hope you guys have a great Halloween weekend. See y'all next Saturday.